Hi, it's The Wire. It's the last day of the year, 2020, December 31st. I'm still on Christmas holiday vacation, right? Checking in here from Missouri. Let's talk about cryptocurrency. Let's talk about the SEC's decision to come down on XRP, right? Deeming XRP uh, issued by Ripple an unregistered security. And let's talk about some other ideas I'm pursuing right now. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let me also point out too that I run a few blogs, have for years, uh, that talk about financial matters, investment ideas I'm just researching and pursuing. You can find them free of cost. One of them is keepingitfree.blogspot.com. Another is wealthspinning.blogspot.com. Okay? Now, let me say this about XRP, following up on an earlier video that I did. For me, XRP is no longer an investment. It is a speculation. The news from the SEC was not the news I was hoping for. Right? I was hoping for the other news, that XRP was in compliance with SEC regulations. Right, Not that XRP was going to be deemed an unregistered security. Right, It could have gone either way. Had it gone my way, you were looking at huge gains. It went the other way. And so understand, that is a big problem. Companies like Coinbase are trying to do an IPO and want SEC approval. The last thing they want to do is to be uh, dealing in trades, facilitating trades involving unregistered securities uh, that the SEC has filed suit against. So, of course, Coinbase has uh, is in the process of delisting XRP. That's devastating news, right? Understand other big time exchanges, Bittrex comes to mind. They're in the process of delisting XRP, right? Devastating news. I'm holding on to my XRP, uh, but I no longer am relying on it. In other words, we should all have speculations. The reason I'm holding on to my XRP is because XRP is servicing a huge market, a global market. And understand, it has been deemed not a security in several countries, including Japan, the United Kingdom, Switzerland, and Singapore, right? Huge markets. Let me repeat that. XRP today is not a security in Japan, the United Kingdom, Switzerland, and Singapore, right? Understand, XRP is a great bridge between crypto and fiat. XRP gives current banks a role, right? What I want people to do is to look closely at it. I know it's down big. What I also want people to consider is that in the United States, the Trump administration's on the way out. Right, you're going to have a new administration in within the next three weeks, the Biden administration. Their attitude toward XRP might be different than the current SEC's attitude toward XRP. Right, their attitude toward crypto might be different than the current attitude here in the United States toward crypto. There's also the possibility that a settlement can be reached because, after all, Ripple, uh, excuse me, Ripple has taken huge steps to decentralize XRP. Right? You need to do the research yourself. I'm not giving investment advice. Nothing I say in this video should be deemed to be investment advice. I'm just sharing my thought process on XRP. Right. For me, it's a speculation right now. I'm holding on to all the XRP I have. 
I'm hoping that when there's further clarity, I'm hoping that XRP bounces back with a vengeance. The potential is there, even now, right? XRP seems to have found a bit of a base around 20 cents U.S. dollars, right? In U.S. currency. Um, I'm still bullish on XRP. I'm extremely disappointed by the SEC's decision. I would not be surprised if the SEC's lawsuit gets resolved in a way that's favorable to XRP, right? I would not be surprised if XRP moves operations overseas, right, to one of the several countries that has deemed XRP not a security and hence legal, right? The market opportunity is huge. Let's talk about some other ideas I'm pursuing. Uh, Bitcoin is clearly on fire. Bitcoin is going to remain on fire. In my opinion, this is a structural change. The market cap of Bitcoin is still under $550 billion. Understand, many people, uh, Scott Minner, Guggenheim, a uh, huge hedge fund, believes that Bitcoin, current price, a little bit less than $29,000 a coin, uh, really should have a value of $400,000. Google his name, M-I-N-E-R-D, Scott Minner, right, of Guggenheim. Um, I believe that we're just getting started here, right? So what I want people who are a little bit hesitant on having a Bitcoin wallet who want to be able to just make an investment and have others deal with the acquisition of Bitcoin to consider. Are companies that have Bitcoin reserves, right, that own Bitcoin, where Bitcoin is at least 20% value-wise of the market cap of the company right now, Right, so as Bitcoin goes up, the market cap is going to go up because they have a lot of Bitcoin. Now, let me point out, I'm an investor in Square. I believe in Cash App. I believe in Jack Dorsey's vision. I know Square bought $50 million worth of Bitcoin not too long ago. What I want people to understand, and by the way, the value of the $50 million in Bitcoin that Jack Dorsey bought for Square is now worth $135 million, right? In other words, Square right here, and I believe Bitcoin is still in its infancy, has already made $85 million on its Bitcoin investment, right? Think about that. But understand, its Bitcoin investment is only one-tenth of one percent of Square's market cap. Again, one-tenth of one percent. What I want people to do is to consider, well, let me change the language here. What I'm doing is I'm investing in a company like MicroStrategy right? Michael Saylor's company. Understand today, it's Bitcoin holdings total 55%, according to some reports, of the company's market cap. 55%. So as Bitcoin jumps in price, the market cap of MicroStrategy is going to jump in price, much more so than the market cap of Square, for example. Michael Novogratz's Galaxy Digital Holdings. Again, Galaxy Digital Holdings. Right? The head honcho there is Michael Novogratz. Their Bitcoin holdings right now are about 50% of their market cap. 50%. So understand, as Bitcoin jumps, Galaxy Digital Holdings is going to jump. And understand, 
there's a great company there, just like there's a great company with MicroStrategy. So you're getting the great company and you're getting the appreciation in Bitcoin. Let me name two others that I have investments in, right? And again, I'm just telling you my investments. I have an investment in MicroStrategy. You can buy a fractional investment, right? Just a part of a share of MicroStrategy on Robinhood right now. Just food for thought. The symbol is MSTR. Well, let's go further, right? You have publicly traded companies, folks, that mine Bitcoin. This is different than MicroStrategy that, you know, is shifting some of their cash reserves to Bitcoin, right? You have companies that are mining Bitcoin every day, getting in Bitcoin. Right, that you can invest in on public markets. One such company is Hut H Mining Corporation. Again, Hut H Mining Corporation. You can find out more information about the company by going to their website, hutHmining.com. Again, it's hutHmining.com. They call themselves the world leading Bitcoin miner, right? This is a huge mining operation. The market cap is about $333 million, right? So we're talking here about smaller cap stocks. That's where you're gonna find a lot of the value, right? Smaller cap stocks. But here's the jaw dropper in my opinion right for me this again i'm just telling you what i'm investing in the jaw dropper is that hut 8 has more than 84 million dollars worth of bitcoin in other words 25 percent of the company's market cap is in the form of Bitcoin, 25%. And the company is mining Bitcoin, right? Uh, to me, this is an absolute no-brainer. What's amazing to me too is that in the over-the-counter market, right, HUD-8 mining is down today and the share prices are very cheap. Right? You can pick up HUD-8 mining if you have a Fidelity account, for example. Right, A TD Ameritrade account, you can pick up HUD-8 mining. I've picked up some HUD-8 mining. I think that this is a great deal. Again, the website is HUD-8mining.com. Right? It trades in Canada on the TSX under the symbol HUT, H-U-T, and in the U.S. under the symbol H-U-T-M-F on the over-the-counter market, right? By the way, this is the first TXX, TSX listed issuer to complete the TSX sandbox program, right? The volumes are incredible. Um, simply incredible. Understand, we're talking about more than a thousand petahashes per second in terms of hash rate. Now, let's talk about another company that has caught my eye that I think is going to continue to rise. They have $33 million worth of Bitcoin on their balance sheet. Right? They're also a Bitcoin miner. The $33 million of Bitcoin is only 2.8% of the market cap. Now, I should warn people, this is not for the squeamish, but these are the companies I invest in. The market cap for this company, Riot Blockchain, is $1.2 billion. Right, $1.2 billion. 
But understand, this is a capital intensive Bitcoin mining company. So they hardly have any employees, right? You'll find this sometimes when you're dealing with certain companies, right? Royalty businesses and gold mining, uh, Bitcoin mining companies from time to time, right? Block, Riot Blockchain, which has been around for 20 years, right? The company, uh, the company recently got into cryptocurrency. According to Yahoo Finance, had something like seven employees, but yet they have a market cap over a billion dollars and they have $33 million worth of Bitcoin. What I want people to do is to look up riotblockchain.com. All of the information is there. Again, riotblockchain.com. Right? I'm just telling you what I'm doing. I'm not encouraging anyone to do anything other than research. That's all. Right? On the NASDAQ, the symbol is R-I-O-T. The current price of Riot blockchain is $18.17. Just understand that Riot blockchain, with hardly any employees, is one of the dominant Bitcoin miners in the United States, right? They have huge plans. They already have a huge presence in the space. And they're sitting on a lot of Bitcoin. Understand, when I buy a Riot blockchain, if Bitcoin takes off or continues to take off, then without having a Bitcoin wallet, just by having a share of a company involved in Bitcoin mining that has Bitcoin holdings and not a lot of labor costs, I'm making money, right? And so I hope people take a look at this. I believe right now you need a way an easy way to have access to Bitcoin's appreciation, right? If you're not technically savvy, if the idea of getting a ledger wallet or a treasure wallet scares you, um, then I hope you research on your own. HUD-8 mining, and Riot blockchain, as well as, of course, MicroStrategy and Galaxy Digital Holdings. Let me name another company. Um, I believe in Dash, right? The cryptocurrency. There was a company that was buying Dash Master Notes. They called themselves Neptune Dash. Right? They've since pivoted toward Bitcoin. They're still involved with Dash. They're also involved with Bitcoin. Now they call themselves Neptune Digital Holdings. I believe that's another company you want to look at. They've been on fire of late. Right? The symbol on the Canadian stock exchange is Dash. D-A-S-H. Right? That's on the Canadian exchange. They also trade over the counter in the United States. Uh, I believe the symbol, in fact, since I'm uncertain here off the top of my head on the symbol for Neptune Digital Holdings, for those of you interested, I hope you research it. Right? That's another company that's investing in digital assets and that has a Bitcoin holding. Right? Let me close by saying, if you already have Bitcoin, you need a way to automatically accumulate more Bitcoin without going out of pocket on a monthly basis because Bitcoin is still in its infancy, right? You want compounded interest, at least I do, right? So 
I agree with those who say, not your keys, not your Bitcoin. But I'm prepared to take a risk with at least part of my Bitcoin. This is where BlockFi.com comes in. Right? They pay you interest on your Bitcoin. You have to deposit it with them. But they have some very credible partners and their license. Right? Do your research here. I don't want to make representations here online. Go to BlockFi.com. Here's how it works. And they're paying 6%, folks. 6% annually. But understand, it's compounded. So, you deposit, let's say, one Bitcoin. Let's keep it simple. One Bitcoin with BlockFi.com, right? And understand, some of their partners include well-known people like the Voss twins. At the end of the month, right, each month you would accumulate, since it's 6% annually, and since they're 12 months, you would accumulate half a percent, right? Half a percent. So understand at the end of the first month, you have half a percent of a Bitcoin, plus you still have your full Bitcoin in their custody, right? Now granted, a lot of risk is involved. You're turning over your Bitcoin to them. Research their background. Research their partners. Research how they're storing your Bitcoin. Right? You need to research all of it. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. But understand, at the end of that first month, where you have a Bitcoin and half a percent. And let's be clear here. Let's do the math. If Bitcoin were $20,000, and right now it's over 28, then half a percent of $20,000 would be $100. So you're just getting $100 in Bitcoin. That's how they pay the interest. That's the good part. So as, in, so as Bitcoin appreciates, your interest appreciates. So you're just automatically getting $100 of Bitcoin every month without buying any, right? Well, understand, the next month, it compounds. They'll give you 6% of the one Bitcoin on an annual basis, plus the $100 in Bitcoin that you earn the prior month. So this compounds over time. So you're getting more Bitcoin without paying for more Bitcoin every month. Folks, if you're like me and you believe Bitcoin is going to more than double, right, more than triple, in the coming, oh, three years. If you believe the projections of people like Plan B, right, his stock to flow model, billionaire Tim Draper, if you, like Paul Tudor Jones, believes that Bitcoin is the fastest horse on the track, then this is a great way to get passive income in the form of Bitcoin to increase your Bitcoin holdings while Bitcoin is still in its infancy with a lot of upside ahead. Again, it's BlockFi, B-L-O-C-K-F-I dot com. You're responsible for everything you do. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. I was impressed by the people involved with BlockFi.com. Again, some of the biggest names in crypto, some of the companies in crypto with the most credible records, backgrounds. 
Well, anyway, that's how I see it. Just understand. This is all very high risk. Extremely high risk. Right? The SEC has come down against XRP. I'm not here to spin it any other way. Right? But since XRP is addressing a huge market, and since several other countries, including some of the biggest economies in the world, Japan, for example, uh, some of the, you know, financial-centric countries, Singapore, for example, already have looked at XRP and have said, you know, XRP is not a security. And since XRP has already gotten a huge haircut in the market after the SEC's decision, I like XRP at these prices, even with the huge risk. Understand, too, when a company like MicroStrategy or Galaxy Digital has 50% of their market caps in Bitcoin, if Bitcoin collapses, move. That could be an existential threat for the companies. Huge risk, right? Also, when we're talking about a company like Riot Blockchain that hardly has any employees, <laughs> hardly, it's all, you know, um, ant miners, you know, Bitmain, you know, uh, Bitcoin miners and things like that. It's data centers mining Bitcoin. Um, you know, when the company itself was in a different area and has only come to crypto in the last five years. Yes, there's risk involved. No question about it, right? I'm here talking about some companies, HUD-8 mining, that aren't even on the NASDAQ, right? Not on the NASDAQ. So I don't want anyone to confuse this video with you know, tried, true, long-term tested investment moves. I'm not that guy. I'll speculate. I'll speculate on nascent technologies like Bitcoin. Right? Be aware of the risk involved in what I'm doing. It's substantial. It's up to you to do your own research and to make all of your own decisions. Nothing I've said in this video done on vacation should be construed as financial advice. That's how I see it. YouTube is interactive. Let me know what you think in the comment section of this video. Let me also encourage people to go back to the earlier video that I made on XRP before the SEC's decision. There's some very knowledgeable comments in the comment section of that video from people who believe that the SEC was going to come down on XRP. I encourage you as part of your research to go back and read those comments. Thank you for stopping by.